Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix memory management blue screen error on Windows machine. A memory management blue screen of death error in Windows usually signals problems with your system RAM, drivers, or corrupted files. So here is a structured approach to resolve this issue. Now the first step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and disconnect all external device and restart. Unplug all USB devices, printers, and other peripherals restart your pc to rule out external hardware conflicts once you restart your computer check if your issue has been resolved in case if your issue has been resolved after disconnecting all external device it is an indication that any of your external device is causing a problem so you might want to try divide and conquer method to identify what device is causing a problem once you identify the device replace the device now, in spite of disconnecting all external device and if you're still facing a problem, the next method to resolve this issue is to update Windows and device drivers. Now, to update Windows, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you click on settings, you may go ahead and click on Windows update. And then on the right hand side, you will see an option which says checking or check for the updates. Click on check for the updates. Now this will go ahead and check if there are any updates available for the computer. Once those updates are available, go ahead and install those updates, close this window, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. Now at the same time, what you could also do is you can update all device drivers. You can give a special attention to graphic and chipset drivers. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have the device manager open, you may go ahead and expand display drivers. Do a right click and then click on scan for hardware changes. Once this is done, check for the update. So you can do a right click and then click on update driver. Click on search automatically for the drivers and then click on close. Repeat the same step for your secondary display adapters. Do a right click, update driver, search automatically for the drivers and then click on close. Repeat the same step for your processes. So you can do a right click and click on check for hardware changes. And then try to update the driver for your processor. You can do a right click and then click on update driver. Click on search automatically for the drivers and then click on close. Repeat the same step in case if there are any sub processes listed here. Once this is done, you may close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. Now in case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method is to go ahead and run Windows memory diagnostic tools. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. And in the run window, you may go ahead and type mdsked.exe and then click on OK. You would see the prompt for Windows Memory Diagnostic. Now, once you have this on the screen, you will have to choose the option which says restart now and check for the problems recommended. You will have to click on it. The system will reboot and scan memory. Now, if there are any errors reported, you likely need to replace your RAM. In case if there are no issues and if you're still facing the same problem, the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and check and repair disk error. To do this, you will have to open command prompt. So you can go to the search window and in the search window, you may go ahead and type command. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have the command prompt open, you will have to type or copy or paste the command in the video description, which is to check disk. Once you have this command in your command prompt window, to execute this command, you will have to hit enter. It will prompt you to type yes or no. If you press Y, if asked to schedule the next restart and reboot. So the next time when you restart your computer, it will go ahead and run the check disk and it will check if there are any issues related to your hard drive or your hard disk. Once this is done, that should fix the problem. 
Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, the next step, what you could do is you can go ahead and re repair your system files by running an SFC scan or a disk management tool. Now, to repair the system files, you will have to go to the search window and in the search window you may go ahead and type command you will see the best match for the command prompt do a right click and then click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen once you have the command prompt open you will have to go ahead and copy and paste the command from my video description or you can type the command manually to execute this command you will have to go ahead and hit enter that will go ahead and run the image servicing and management tool on the computer so you will have to wait until the command has been executed successfully. It will take about 5 to 10 minutes depending on the speed of the computer. Once this tool has been successfully executed, you will have to execute the second command to run as SFC scan. So you can copy and paste the command from the video description and hit enter. This will go ahead and execute the command and then it and in this process, it will have to run to a different stages. You will have to wait until the percentage is being set to 100%. Once the scan is complete, you may close this window, restart your computer. So basically what these commands will do is they will go ahead and repair the corrupted system files, which might trigger the blue screen of death. Once this is done, you may go ahead and restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. Now, in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, the next step is to go ahead and reset your computer. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you may go ahead and click on Windows Update on the left hand side and then on the right hand side, you will have to scroll down till you locate advanced option. Click on advanced option and then locate for recovery click on recovery now here you will have to go ahead and click on reset this pc click on reset pc you will be prompted to choose an option to keep my files or remove everything so i would suggest you to go ahead with keep my files and then it will start to reset the pc process once this is done you will be prompted how would you like to reinstall your windows now, before you make or try this step, I would strongly suggest you to make sure your computer is connected to the internet. Once your computer is connected to the internet, once you're sure you have a good internet speed, then you can go ahead with the cloud download. Click on it and then follow the step-by-step -step instruction. Now, this process will take about a 30 to 45 minutes depending on the speed of the computer and speed of the internet. Once this is done, your computer will be prompted to restart. Once you restart your computer and back to the desktop, you can check if your issue has been resolved. Now, this step should definitely resolve this issue. In spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.